Cruz Addicted is on board the Oceania ship Riviera, a lovely R-class ship from 2012. She's recently been refurbished, so we popped on board to have a look. This is the atrium across decks six and seven, a calm, elegant space. And where you enter, if you're staying in one of the 625 suites and staterooms. The elegant feeling continues across the ship from the Panoramic Horizons bar on deck 15, where you can sit and watch the world go by, to the glitzy glamour of the casino bar tucked away on, on deck 6. where you can enter through to the casino or out into the atrium. Lots to tell you about the ship and we'll take a look at some of the staterooms too. But first, let's have a look at Deck 12 and the Lido. I loved this pool, I really did. These comfy toweling covered sunbeds and these bubbling hot tubs really called to me and just wanted me to settle down and relax and watch the world go by. The deck above has also got beds, so there's always a space where you can find a quiet, shady or sheltered spot if you need one. Lots and lots of space and places to sit, things to do, even a running track. Although I only walked it. Oceania described their ship as having a country club vibe and want it to be your home away from home. You can practically feel the stress drain away as you get on board and you can see the gentle colours and the natural features just seem to be very, very simple and perfect. This is the view from the coffee bar on deck 14 and there are lots of areas shaded, comfy, seating areas around the ship where you can just sit. But the coffee bar has a computer station, so all up to date and you can stay in touch with home if you need to. Lots of drinks, wide range of drinks from here and also snacks, both savoury and sweet. Um, and a comfy indoor seating area too. So a really good central hub if you're peckish or you need a drink throughout the day. Dining is central to the Riviera ethos. In fact, the ships are designed around the galleys. Here in the grand dining room, relaxed ambience is the order of the day. It's underlined by floor to ceiling windows and sparkling chandeliers. It's really beautiful. And we were very lucky. The Michelin star chefs had prepared us a sumptuous lunch. So we had breaded jumbo shrimp or potato beignet with caviar, followed by parmesan crusted tenderloin or butternut squash risotto or teriyaki black cod, all very yummy. And then an awesome chocolate volcano and even petit four with coffee, which was a superb feast. Other dining options on board include this. This is Jacques a French bistro style on five. The Polo Grill up on deck 14, which is an upmarket grill and steak restaurant, very much like a private members club. Lovely space, quite dark woods, but interesting. This is Privé, it's tucked next door to the Polo Grill. It's a private space you can rent, for a group of between two or ten people. You can see chandeliers, oh, just absolutely beautiful. Um, it has its own menus or you can choose from other menus on board. 
What a treat. This is Red Ginger. It serves bold Asian cuisine and it's down on five. Um, it's one of the few restaurants that doesn't really have a view, um, but it's perfect for, for the vibe it's giving you. Up on deck 12 is the Terrace Cafe. Wide, wide, wide variety of food um, served buffet style with two separate carvery stations, so two different meats. A, a, I mean, huge range of options, savoury, sweet, cheese, salad, you know, full meal, snack, just a bit of fruit. I love these. You can see one's missing. That's my fault. Um, and just a huge range. And everybody was so lovely. They, they kept smiling and, oh man, what would you like? Um, honestly, I could have just nibbled away there all day. Even there you are, burgers, hot dogs, anything you want, really to be honest, I think. Um, lovely seating outside here at the Stern. I can see me sitting here on every Z day just watching the world go by. Uh, perfect spot for lunch or relaxed evening meal, um, but also seating inside so you know you don't have to. And it doesn't have, as you see, you can have lasagna pizza. It doesn't need to be a huge meal. Um, you don't need to feel stuffed at the end of it so absolutely perfect perfect buffet style sort of much better quality this is toscana it's the gourmet italian cuisine on 14 and they have again you'll see wonderful windows super views the whole ship really celebrates being at sea um the breads and oils to try here are astonishing. I don't think I could get past them. And table settings by Versace, look at this. I would have been totally happy, to be honest, with just a snack from here. This is the Waves Pool Grill. And the sandwiches and, and burgers that they had here were astonishing. Honestly, I could eat there every day. That would be fine for me. The staterooms and the suites are equally impressive. This is 9147, 2,000 foot's worth of owner's suite. Absolutely stunning. Uh, there is a sitting room that you can see, a music room with a grand piano and a bar, which is where we are now. And then lovely furnishings by Ralph Lauren, cashmere blankets, um, oh, just glorious. Huge, huge veranda with hot tubs, um, indoor and outdoor hot tubs. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful space. So much attention to detail. Mirrors, look, see, um, magnifying makeup mirror. Just beautiful. Um, and Bulgari toiletries too. This is almost the other end of the scale. This is 10,030, much smaller, a penthouse suite, 440 square feet. Um, it's got a separate seating area in the room with a dining table. Lovely veranda again, not wrapped round, not a huge room, um, but very, very nicely done with, again, beautiful furnishings um, and the same toiletries walking wardrobe marble bathroom oh just honestly it's beautiful there we are more bulgari the smell of glorious <laughs> these beautiful fluffy bathrobes are a feature in every room no matter what level um also these reusable water bottles uh, and these very clever multi-directional little reading lights which I was rather taken with. Quite fun. I could fiddle with these for ages and they're actually really practical too. Um, you've got one American, one continental plug. Right. 10060 concierge veranda room again now this is one of the smaller rooms there are actually insides too um, but this is 291 square foot still a very very high standard you can see um, so someone is, is going to have a lovely holiday and here is the bathroom again marble bulgari all the same stuff absolutely lovely nice balcony too up on the bow, we find the Vista Suites. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is 12,000 on 12, deck 12. 
and it even has its own small gym which is really quite a lovely cabin prob suite sorry a uh, huge wraparound balcony right up on the bow um, so you've got your hot tub seating area dining table out on the deck as well um, you can tuck away out of the wind if you want to or oh just love it so this is stunning bedroom and bathroom um, probably my favorite room and where you're going to find me if I ever win the lottery <laughs> so this is the Vista Suites there's four up on the bow so that's a quick run through the various suites on board um, few more pictures here for you of, of some different ones as well three owner suites eight vista suites 12 oceania suites 124 penthouse suites 200 veranda state rooms um, and 20 ocean view state rooms with 14 inside and the standard as i say the the dressing gowns and and sort of some of the little touches um stays the same throughout so really really quite impressive level of, of fitting out and we're back to the Agnes suite so there we are There's such a lot to do on board. This is the artist's loft. Um, the resident artist gives talks and runs workshops. He was called Graham Dennison on this cruise, but I gather it, it changes occasionally. Um, some of this is his work and some of it is the work of others. Um, and opposite the artist's loft is the culinary centre where you can learn um, cooking skills and go ashore find out different shopping trips my favorite space is probably the library absolutely loved it 2000 books and look lots of little nooks and crannies um, all decorated by Ralph Lauren bit mad on the eyes in the places but absolutely beautiful place to just snuggle up with a book especially on the sea day if the weather's a bit rough look at this you could be anywhere gorgeous um, shops obviously on board bags jewelry um, clothes, watches, all all done to a high standard. Um, some some quite nice things around. Um, not huge area, but enough, I would say. There's a gym and a yoga studio um, next door to it, and the Aquamass Bar, all on deck 14. Um, beauty salon products, Elemis products. Uh, hot beds, beautiful, beautiful area here. Um, isn't it nice? Look, oh, uh, treatment rooms. This is the um, spa terrace on the bow. Treatment rooms. We're looking out at the bow here, so um, you've got beautiful views. This is a relaxation room. Very nice area. No uh, pool there, so there's no thermal suite pool, but it, it's a lovely, lovely place to be. Um, and this is the Riviera Lounge, home to all the onboard entertainment and the end of our tour. Uh, so much to see and do on board at this lovely ship. I do hope that I'm back one day soon. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to click and subscribe, post any questions before and follow Cruise Addicted. Thank you very much.